Uh, this is the uh, first hypothesis testing video, uh, part one. We wish to test at the 10% significance level the claim that the average body temperature of humans is 98.6 degrees. We take a simple random sample of 100 people and we take their temperature and get a mean of 98.85 degrees and a standard deviation of 1.3 degrees. So what we're really trying to do here is discredit this uh, idea that the um, <clears throat> the average temperature of human beings is 98.6 and we first set up our problem as uh, with a null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is uh, always associated with equality and has to do with the status quo that is what's normally thought of as uh, true uh, and then we have the experimental or alternative hypothesis here H sub 1 and we say that mu doesn't equal 98.6 and we're going to try to discredit this uh, 98.6 now when we do this in a hypothesis test we always play devil's advocate with ourselves we assume that it is 98.6 and then we see if if our uh, results are significant so here what we have here is our uh, population parameters so the, the mean we're assuming is 98.6 we don't know the standard deviation of the population but we know the number of human beings is very large in the billions right and our sample is uh, 100 and our uh, x bar and I put a little asterisk by our x bar to indicate this is the one we got 98.85 degrees with a standard deviation of 1.3 degrees well the first thing we want to ask ourselves is does the central limit theorem apply and uh, yes it does because the number in our sample was greater than or equal to 30 also our sample is very small when compared with the larger population and that's usually true so if the central limit theorem applies all these nice things happen and what are the nice things that happen well if we take millions of samples of size uh, 100 and uh, and look at the means of each sample then all the sample means will make a nice bell curve like this the mean of all these x bars will equal the mean of the entire population and we're assuming we know that 98.6 and the standard deviation of this uh, distribution which we call the sampling distribution is sigma over the square root of n we don't have sigma so we uh, substitute in s as an approximation so our standard deviation will be approximately 1.3 over the square root of 100 or 0.13 and we'll continue this problem in the next video